they're really tough to guard, you know. Our coaches did a really good job of preparing us for uh, their game plan, but their offense has a lot of a lot of nuances, and they were really effective off the screen all the night. <laughs> Yeah, he's a uh, he's really talented. He can pick and pop and step out and hit the mid range jumper, but he's also effective uh, pump faking, getting into the lane, creating creating contact and creating plays for his team. So um, he was tough. It's, it's really tough, but um, like last game, we still had some positives to draw from it. Um, we still have stretches where we're playing extremely well. So we just need to, to work on not having that five to seven minute stretch every game where we kind of let up and the other team takes advantage of it. I wish I could tell you. Um, I, I really don't know, but whatever it is, it's been costing us games. So we need to figure out what the problem is and correct it. What's going through your head when you come out of halftime, last couple games, and they start to kind of make a run? What what are you? What's going through your head? What are you trying to do to kind of stop that? Well, our main focus coming out of every halftime is the first five minutes are, are key for us. We know. We, uh, we started off slow some games in the second half, and it's really hurt us. So all our coaches are telling us is that we need to come out and, and play with energy. And I think that when we do, we're effective. And when we don't, we see what happens. feel completely confident going in every game. Um, we know we're a talented team, and once we all get on the same page, I believe we can still um, get some wins to close the season out. What needs to change? Just need to play hard for 40 minutes. <laughs>